until the light goes, that'll be the day when I die. So with the capo at the 5th fret, we're going to refer to the frets as normal. So this is capos at 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, starting out at the 8th fret of the high E string, thinnest string, to quote-unquote open with the capo. The same thing on the B. So... Then there's this third finger slide from uh, eight to nine, which where you're including the the uh, second string. So, and then there's the pull off from. This uh, nine to seven. So then there's open, and then we're here at the seventh fret of the fourth string. And the thing I wanted to mention is, which I could have demonstrated even better is he's really popping that finger string and that has to do with the pick attack. It was a very particular pick attack and it sounds nice on the acoustic guitar too. So, and downstrokes by the way. I just made a mistake there by trying to hit it like this. No, it's a downstroke. I meant by the attack. It's real precise and it's real strong. Kind of aggressive. So let's start from the beginning. This time you're making a D7 shape in a way that you may not have made it before and you're sliding being very particular about your strumming here on these three thinnest strings it's easy to remember how many times in the context of the of the song so from the beginning Be sure to include that B string real good. And you're kind of sliding your wrist bloody holly stuff. Then you're going into this. Um, you know how to play this. It's this is the, uh, here at the 7th fret on the 4th string, going 7 to 5 while including the 5th string. The, uh, fifth string. Down. And this is when I like. 
like to include this move that I came up with this. And that's with your, your second and third finger come down on the sixth string and just you know, play it. Play that kind of classic move there. When you go to the B7, first you play the fifth string. And this is also very particular strumming. It's important that there's like three of them. And on the last upstroke, take off the th the uh, pinky, the fourth finger. Open. I say open with the capo. Uh, second string. Hammer on with the A. With this shape. This chord shape here. Get a good clean hammer on. This part here. You wouldn't really play it from the from the A, it wouldn't sound right. From the fifth string. You'd play it like from the D. Or you could even go up down. But I think it's down up. Then there's the second string again with the hammer on on the uh, seventh fret of the second string. Let me do that again. Then this is a very nice sounding uh, move here. It's a walk down basically. So here at the eighth fret of the G string, sliding. High E and then B. Then uh, hammer on. Hammer on. At the uh, sixth fret. And this is also a subtlety that. If you lift off this finger too fast, you get this sound you don't want. And it's very hard to not get it, but I, I get it about 99% of the time. It's a da da da, and you don't want that. You just want it clear. So you, you, you do a subtle mute. I should have done that better in the video in the intro, but and that's how to get the authentic. But I wasn't going for perfection necessarily in that intro, but uh, but yeah, that's it there. Your B seven, up, down, down. No, it's uh, up, down, up. And you're just playing like the top three strings. Maybe at the fourth. Mainly the top three. The main thing is to make sure that uh, because you have the capo there, the B7 is a little bit harder to do. So check and make sure that all the strings are, have run out. 